driving a car through the wonderful nature in the forest without polluting the environment around the car. Is it possible today? Yes, it is, with an electric car. The car has been a natural thing in our life. It's a necessary need for everything that we do when we go to work, to pick up our kids, or going to different kind of entertainments. We just jump into the car, driving wherever we like, without even thinking what impact we do on the environment around us. The energy that we are using for all these trips back and forward, where does it come from? Well, petrol and diesel is a non-renewable source that we are filling up into our cars and burning it with enormously low efficiency. And on top of this, we are releasing a huge amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through the tailpipe. Is this a good idea? So what kind of alternative do we have? Is there any alternative to fossil fuel driven cars? Well yes there is today. There is the electric car. And I wanted to see if it's possible to use an electric car in daily life. So I decided to lease a Nissan Leaf 2015 model. It's an all electric car. It doesn't have any tailpipe and it doesn't have any hole to fill up the gasoline or petrol. And that is the beauty with this car. It only has an electric motor. And an electric motor has a huge efficiency, up to 90% comparing with a car with a combustion engine that only have an efficiency between 15 and 20%. But still, you need the electricity for your car to be produced somewhere and in many countries around the world electricity is produced by burning coal and coal pollutes and releases a lot of carbon dioxide too into the atmosphere so is it any benefit for the environment to drive an electric car yes there is thanks to the efficiency of the coal plant plus the electric motor it will still be better than to burn fuel in a combustion engine. Also, you have a better control over the burning process when you use a centralized way comparing to a decentralized burning process. Electricity has the advantage of being transparent. This means that when you charge the car the car can either be charged by electricity produced by a coal plant or it can be charged by electricity produced by a renewable source. In Sweden, where I live, 97% of the electricity is produced by non-fossil fuel sources. Mainly hydro, nuclear power, wind and also burning biomass. So, eventually, you will run out of juice in your car. With an electric car, you can charge the car through the electric grid, you can do it at home or at a public charging point around town. With a fossil fuel car, you need to go to the gas station to fill up the car with gasoline. So, Let's compare the two ways of transporting the energy to those two kinds of cars. With the electric car, you charge it over the electric grid, right? Well, I know that the electric grid is complicated and difficult to manage, but in general, it's just a bunch of cables. Cables that is connecting the production with the consumer. The fossil fuel car, though, this is much more difficult. From the place where the oil has been extracted, it needs to be transported. Transported over a long, long, long distance. 
to a refinery. A refinery that needs huge amount of energy to refine the oil so it can be a product that could be put in your car. And later on it needs to be transported again to your local gas station. The fossil fuel era has built the society that we have today. The fossil fuel has been necessary to accomplish all the fantastic inventions that we have made so far. But since the fossil fuel has such a huge impact on our environment and also it's not a renewable source, we need to do some change and that is quick because we don't know for how long time we can continue with this unsustainable society based on fossil fuel. The electric car is one of many of my contributions to the part of the society that wants to do our world independent on fossil fuel and a renewable future.